A movie opens next Friday based on the investigation and trial of an abortion doctor in Philadelphia. Gosnell, the trial of America's biggest ser serial killer, is based on the true story of Kermit Gosnell. He was convicted in 2013 of killing three babies born alive at his abortion clinic. He is serving three life sentences in prison. Our own Wyatt Goolsby caught up with, uh, with one cast member you might recognize. Joining me now is one of the film's stars, actor Dean Kane. You may remember him for his starring role as Superman in the 1990 series Lois and Clark. Dean, welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Did you say 1990s? Oh my gosh. How that long was so ago? Long ago. <laughs> Almost 20 years ago, I guess. Well, a little bit over 20 years ago mid -2000s. now. Mid 2000s. Right. You play Philadelphia Police Detective James Woods in this new film who investigated abortion doctor Kermit Gosnell and helped put him behind bars. Tell us about your character and his tireless efforts to bring Gosnell to justice. Well, it's funny. Th th this didn't start off as an abortion clinic, you know, investigation or anything. It was a, it was a narcotics investigation. Uh, uh, Kermit Gosnell was selling narcotics on the street and the word got out and, and uh, Detective Woods went in and busted him, basically. And when they got inside and they raided the clinic, they found all of these horrors and all these awful things. And that led to the big giant investigation uncovering all of that. So it started as a narcotics investigation and he kept pushing and kept pushing because what he saw in there couldn't be right. And he was 100% correct, it wasn't right. Things that were going on in there were ghastly and terrible and, um, you know, there were, you know, uh, medical equipment wasn't sterilized. There were, you know, I, I don't want to get too specific to, to the gory details, but it was, uh, it was a house of horrors in a sense. And um, we, we cover that in the film. You don't see the most horrible things, but you understand what's there. Now, this particular movie, Gosnell, has been in the works since 2014. It's faced challenges in terms of funding and distribution. Why was it so, so important for you to take this role? Well, you know, it's, it's, a, it's an unbelievable story. And a lot of people want to step away from it, shy away from it, because the subject matter is, is, is difficult. It's difficult, and, and people feel very strongly about the subject matter. So a lot of people wanted to shy away from it, run away from it. I think it's a story that needed to be told. I thought that, that it was really well written. Andrew Clavin did a great job with it. I thought the characters all made a lot of sense. James, uh, Jim, you know, Jim Wood, what he did, he, you know, this is, a, this is a law enforcement officer who sees some wrongs and, and, and wants it out there and wants it to be made right, if you will. Uh, so for me, it was just a great story to tell. Uh, I, I knew it was going to be controversial. Uh, the controversy doesn't frighten me. Uh, and I don't want to take jobs just because, you know, it's sort of the right thing to do politically or this or that. It, it was a great story, and it's a really important story. So I had no fear taking the role, and, and I'm honored to be a part of it. Okay. When it comes to acting in general, you've played Superman, but of course you've also acted in less mainstream roles, like in the Christian drama God's Not Dead. How does your faith influence the different projects that you choose? Well, you know, it's interesting. When you see a lot of uh, actors, they'll, they're doing a cer cer uh, certain role, this, that, then maybe they have kids. And suddenly they make a lot of kids' movies, and that's important for them. And, you know, you're doing things that impact your life. Sometimes, at the times, those things are impacting your lives. Um, you, a film like God's Not Dead, my son was going to a Christian high school. Um, we were talking a lot about, uh, about God and the Bible and things, and, and that film came along. Kevin Sorbo is a good buddy of mine, and he was producing it. And uh, I thought it was a great film to make him think and discuss faith. And so for me, that choice was specifically about my son and, and the fact that Kevin was a good friend of mine. And um, that, that was a surprise hit, that film. We didn't know it was gonna do anywhere near as well as it did. We didn't know if it was gonna be well received. Um, but I, I take, I'll, take, I'll take roles if I like a script or a character or a point of view, even if it doesn't mesh up with my own. I'll do that and uh, I think it's important as an actor and as a storyteller to tell a lot of different kinds of stories. Well, it's so interesting to hear about your experience and, of course, to learn more about this movie. Dean Kane, one of the stars of the new movie, Gosnell, The Trial of America's Biggest Serial Killer. It opens October 12th. Dean, thanks so much for talking with us. Thanks for having me.